Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I'm gonna show you how to make these super easy and cute crochet bunny pockets. They work in one piece, working from the bottom up, and at the end, you can stuff them with little um, gift cards, like this crumble cookie gift card, or little fun size candies. Great for gift giving, really any time of year, or especially for Easter. So let's get started. Uh, you're gonna wanna grab some Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Uh, the one I'm going to film today is using pale yellow, and I'll have these other colors listed on the blog post on repeatcraftforme.com. And you're going to want to grab your size H crochet hook, and let's get started. So we are going to make our magic ring. Get this over to the side here. Come on, bunnies. So let's make our magic ring. We're going to chain one, and we're going to make eight single crochets in the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna pull tight and then we're gonna join to that first single crochet and we're gonna chain one. For round two, we're gonna make two single crochets in each stitch around. And that's gonna be for a total of 16 single crochets. Of course, you could use any color you want. There's so many colors for these adorable bunnies, especially in the Red Heart Super Saver line. Okay, we're just gonna join, we're gonna chain one. For round three, we're gonna make two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next, and we are gonna repeat that around. So, two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, two, and one, all the way around we should have 24 single crochets at the end of this round okay we're gonna join chain one now for rounds four through ten very easy. We're just going to go ahead and make one single crochet in each stitch around, and that's going to allow us to make, it's going to start to curve up and make this little pocket on the bottom. So it's just a repeat of just single crochets in each stitch. For rounds four through ten. Yeah. You're going to want to join at the end of each of these rounds, chain one, and continue. So it'll start to curve up like this, and I'm just going to meet you at round ten. So just keep going, crochet, single crocheting in each stitch until you get to the end of round 10. All right, we are coming to the end of round 10. Okay, I'm gonna join. And now I'm gonna chain 10. Okay, this is the start of round 11. We're gonna chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now we're going to skip 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And in the 11th stitch, you're going to join with a single crochet. Okay. So here is where your little pocket's going to be. So you have your chain 10, you've skipped 10 stitches. We've just joined with a single crochet. 
We're going to go ahead and continue to single crochet the rest of the way around uh, to finish off this round 11. Okay, when I get to the end, I'm going to just find that first chain, almost like our little joining, like our chain one. Join with a slip stitch chain one, and then right there in that same chain, we're going to be on round 12 now. We're going to make a single crochet, and we're going to single crochet in each of those remaining chains from that chain 10 we made. Okay. And then when we get to the end of that, we're just going to continue along and single crochet in those remaining stitches from the previous round. Very simple. You should still have a stitch count of 24. Okay, there's my last one. I'm going to join to that first single crochet, chain one. Now for round 13, we're going to start with a single crochet decrease, and then we're going to single crochet in the next two. So I'm making my single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two. We're going to repeat that around, single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two, single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two and just keep going here's my last two stitches going we're gonna join to the first single crochet chain one now for round 14, we're going to make a single crochet decrease and then one single crochet in the next stitch. So single crochet decrease, one single crochet in the next. And just repeat that all the way around. Okay. That was our last one. And on a single crochet, we're going to join to that first single crochet decrease, chain one. I'm just going to lay this flat so you guys can kind of see how this is looking. Oh, this is like our little starting loose end there. You can weave that in at any time. I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to try and just push it down there so we don't have to look at it. Okay, that's not really going down, is it? All right, so this is what it should look like so far. You're going to have your little pocket. You can already see it, but we're still crocheting in rounds, and that's basically the bottom of our bunny, and now we're going to start on the head. Again, your yarn is going to be attached, so it's working in one piece. All right, so for um, round 15, we're just going to make two single crochets in each stitch around. Very easy. It's actually going to bring us back to a stitch count of 24, I believe. Yeah. And here's our last one. And we're going to join to that first single crochet. We're going to chain one. And then the next two rounds, very easy. 16 and 17, you're just making a single crochet in each stitch. I'm going to try and do this kind of fast. Um, just to get through it. These are the easy rounds. You guys know how to do this. Just single crochet in each stitch. Okay, join, chain one, round 15. 
round 17, just single crochet in each stitch. Very easy. Okay, coming to the end. All right. Join. That's what it should look like so far. Okay, and then for round 18, we're gonna go ahead and start with some single crochet decreases again. So make your single crochet decrease and single crochet in the next four. Two, three, and four. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next four. Single crochet decrease. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet decrease. One, two, three, and four. Brings us to the end of that round. Join, chain one. Let's go ahead, make another just round of simple single crochets. Just a few more rounds and then we're at the ears. So single crochet in each stitch around for round 19. These rounds go by really fast. Okay, join, chain one, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next three. single crochet decrease and then one two three single crochet decrease one two three and I think one more time here we are at the end join chain one okay we're on round 21 we're gonna start with another single crochet decrease single crochet in the next two Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two. And one more time, single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two. Join, chain one. This is what it should look like when you lay it flat. Okay, let's see. Uh, one more round here, single crochet decrease, this is round 22, single crochet in the next. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next. Decrease, one single crochet in the next. One more decrease, and then one single crochet. All right, join, pause. I'm gonna show you this part. Okay, we're done working in our rounds. Now we're gonna make our ears. This is how our cute little bunny body is looking with its pocket. Okay, so if you look on the top, I'm just folding this flat now. And so I see that I have um, six stitches, but when I lay them flat, I'm gonna be working my um, hook through each of these like this. So let's make an ear and then we're basically gonna work under the stitches like this, laid flat. Uh, to close the top. So to make our first ear, we're gonna chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna single crochet in the second chain from hook, half double crochet in the next, and double crochet in those remaining chains. Double crochets to make our ear. Yeah, one more. Okay, so we have our ear. Okay, and now to join, again, I'm putting my hook through those those two stitches back to back, and I'm just making a slip stitch to join. 
All right, so we have our one bunny ear attached. I'm gonna go over to those next two stitches that are laying kind of on top of each other flat. I'm gonna slip stitch again. Okay, and now we're gonna chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oop, one more. Ten. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did with the first ear. We're gonna single crochet in the second chain from hook, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in those remaining stitches to make our second little bunny ear. Yeah, all the way down the line. Okay, there's our second little ear. Now to join, we have one more spot here just to close the top up. So I'm putting my hook under those two stitches. I'm gonna slip stitch to join. I have both bunny ears attached. I have the top closed. You're just gonna wanna fasten off. And now you can weave in, you can weave in this end. And you have your cute little bunny ears and you can flop them over. Do whatever you need to do. Now, if you wanna add on a little bunny cotton tail, uh, let me grab the white yarn and we will do that next. All right, so you can grab your white uh, yarn. This is again, Red Heart Super Saver, a nice worsted weight yarn. And I'm gonna do, um, I guess it's called the puff stitch. Uh, maybe like a bobble, I don't know. Um, whatever you wanna call it, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we are going to make a magic ring. Okay, and then I'm kind of holding my magic ring open. I'm gonna chain two. You guys, hopefully you guys can see this. Now in the magic ring, I'm making this, this puff stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, pull over there. I have three loops on my hook, but I'm only pulling through two. Yarn over again, same thing. Just pull through those first two loops. Okay, I'm gonna do this till I have six of these. So that was one, two, three, three, four, five. Let's see if we can get one more. Six. Woo! I'm gonna yarn over. I'm pulling through all those loops. Okay, looks like this. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm coming back down to my magic my magic ring. I'm just slip stitching to join, and pull tight. And it makes this cute little little puffed ball. Okay, so I'm gonna fasten this off. Pull that through. Look at that little tiny, little tiny cotton tail. You know, you could make a pom pom or however you want to do it will work. You could even crochet a little ball. I just thought this was kind of easy. Once you, once you kind of get, um, you know, the movements figured out of this little puff stitch, um, it's pretty easy. And then I just, I stitch it onto the front. Oh, we forgot to weave in our end over here. It's still giving me trouble. But anyway, you can just um, stitch this on the front of your bunny. You could also stitch it on the back of your bunny and you could make a little face here um, if you wanted to get really creative. Anyway, I'm just gonna actually tie this yellow one in. So I would just knot it several times. Um, probably wanna do it quite a few and you could weave in your ends too just to make sure it's secure especially if you're gifting it I'm just gonna knot it twice here clip those off oh my gosh so cute and you can take your little treats I found lots of these at the dollar store these little starburst oh look at these I have these little carrots and then again I love the one 
you know, with a little gift card. It could be a gift card to anywhere, especially when the kids get older. It's hard to, you know, give them something they like. They're not really into those Easter baskets anymore. So this one's, but this one's to crumble cookie. I thought it was cute. And you have these adorable bunny pocket pouches. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. The pattern, written pattern is free, of course, on my blog, repeatcrafterme.com.